Hey guys, uh, now that you have the Pulse CCM build onto your Kodi 17.1 or higher, uh, you want to adjust some few settings, especially for like Fire Sticks and Android devices. Uh, if you didn't see my uh, video on how to download this build, I will add it in the description as well, so that way that you can add it if you like what you see. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty like uh, pretty much like most builds. You have your movies, sports. Uh, you have your kids sections, live streams, live TV. Uh, you have your system for like your video add-ons, program add-ons. You have your file manager so you can add different add-ons if you see something that you like later down the road. Uh, you have your music and then uh, as well as your TV show. So again, it's pretty simple build, uh, but it works really good on Android devices as well as your Fire Stick devices. Uh, but the, there's a couple of things that you want to adjust. I know like on most Android devices and uh, Fire Sticks, uh, Whenever you go to download a build and you go to watch a movie, there's usually like an audio delay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm also going to show you how to turn down the provider timeouts for most uh, movie and TV show add-ons. Uh, I know some of you, you click on a movie and it takes up to like 30 seconds. I'm going to show you how to knock it down to like 15 to 20 seconds. And I'm also going to show you how to turn off the hosters with captures. And what that is, is like uh, sometimes you'll go to click on a uh, source for a movie or TV show and it'll bring up a web link saying, hey, please go here to uh, pair your device so you can watch the movie. Uh, myself, I think it's annoying, so I will show you how to turn that off. And then I'm also going to show you how to update the Exodus add-on and repository for this, which is pretty simple. Uh, for the most part, this build is uh, fully up-to-date, but there's a couple add-ons that aren't up-to-date because there's been a lot of changes uh, over the past week. And I think the last time this was updated was on the 14th, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is just go over to system and then you want to go over to video add-ons and click it. Uh, the first one that we're going to adjust settings to is Exodus. So what you want to do, let's see, where is it at? Over here. So what you want to do is you just want to highlight it and then you either want to hold down the OK button on your remote or you should have a little button that has like three lines on it. So you'll go ahead and hit that. When you do that, it's going to bring this up. Just go over to settings, and then as you can see right now, the general tab is highlighted, and as you can see, two down, it says provider's timeout. What you want to do is just hit OK, and then you want to change that to 20, or you can even put it down to 15. I leave mine at 20. Uh, that way you don't miss out on any good sources. Uh, some people say, hey, put it all the way down to 10 seconds. I don't recommend that because sometimes it won't even pull up any 1080p or HD sources, so I like to leave it at 15 to 20 seconds. So once you set that, you want to go up to the playback tab, and then you want to turn off hosters with captures. So we're going to take that dot away. Once you do that, just click OK. Uh, most YouTubers, they tell you, hey, man, uh, whenever you click on a movie, it's getting stuck on certain providers when it's loading up the provider list. Uh, don't ever turn that off. It's not going to help anything. If Exodus or Asylum or Specto or anything like that's not pulling a source, it's not going to help to turn off this provider or turn off that one. I don't know why they say that because when Exodus is pulling like it's supposed to or any other movie add-on, it's going to pull whatever regardless. And if it just isn't pulling sources, it's not going to pull sources. So we changed the settings for Exodus. Now we're going to uh, change the settings for Asylum. So we're going to hit that, uh, either hold down the OK button or hit that little uh, button on your remote that looks like three lines. Then we're going to go to settings. As you can see, it has provider timeouts to 45. Uh, we're going to change that to 25. I think 45 is way too long, and I think 25 is pretty good because whenever it's pulling sources like it should, uh, it usually pulls a little bit more than Exodus, Inspecto, and so on. So once we do that, we want to go to playback. Then go down to Hosters with Captures, turn that off, and then just click OK. Then we're going to go to Specto, change it as well, which I don't even use Specto. I don't think it works that good. Some people say it still, uh, still works, but I don't think it does. So we'll just open it up, change the timeout 20 seconds, then go over to Playback. I'm going to turn off the Hosters with Captures for this one, then just click OK. Uh, now, Exodus is on the current version uh, 3.1.19, I believe. And I think uh, whenever you download this build, you're going to see right here version 3.1.6. So what we're going to do, we're just going to uninstall Exodus. Don't worry. Don't freak out. I'm going to show you how to put it back on here. 
So since we got that deleted, what you want to do is just go down here to Aries Wizard, click on it. Uh, it usually takes up to a minute for it to fully open up. Okay, so once it opens up, uh, as you can see up here at the top, you have these little tabs. What you want to do now is go over to Browse Add-ons, then go down to Video Add-ons, and you're going to see Exodus in pink, and it's going to say Status Not Installed. So what you want to do is highlight Exodus, and then click over to the right, highlight Install, click OK. Uh, it usually takes up to a minute. Uh, for it to fully install the new version of Exodus. Okay, so now it says Exodus was successfully installed, so we're just going to click OK and then just hit your back button. Until it brings you back here, and then what we want to do is just go down to Video Add-ons after you highlight System. Uh, as you can see, Exodus is back here. We're going to check the version of it. And as you can see, now it's at 3.1.19, so your Exodus is fully up to date. Okay, so now since we got uh, the settings adjusted for Exodus, Asylum, Specto, uh, what we want to do now is, uh, again, for... Whenever you install a new build onto your uh, Android device or Fire Stick, you might go to watch a movie and you're like, hey, the audio's not matching up with the lips or anything like that. It's very easy to fix it. So what we're going to do is just, uh, you can do it for any add-on, but I'm going to do it through Exodus. Let's click on Most Popular. Just find something to play so we can adjust the audio offset. Game of Thrones. Okay, so just going to click on that top source, let it play. Uh, as soon as it starts playing, I'm going to go ahead and pause that for copyright uh, reasons. Uh, what you want to do is you want to hit the OK button on your remote. It's going to bring up the play, stop button, and all that. You want to go over to this little speaker icon over here to the far right. It's second from the last. Click it. Then you want to go to audio offset. And you want to change that to uh, 0 0.200 seconds. Hit your back button one time. Go down here to enable subtitles. Take that dot away. Just hit OK after you highlight it. And then you want to go down to set default as default for all media. Click it. It's going to bring this up. Just click yes. And then once you do that, just click close. So now you're set for that. So you shouldn't have any uh, audio offset issues or anything like that on most of your Android or Fire Stick devices. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to uh, change one of the add-ons under uh, one of these tabs. Say you don't find a better uh, movie or TV show add-on, you want to add it to your main menu. It's very simple on this build, pretty easy. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you that. What you want to do is just highlight System and then click it. You want to go down to Interface. Uh, once you click on that, it's going to show you this. It's already going to have skin highlighted. You want to look over to the right and then go to configure skin. Then you want to go down to add on shortcuts. And as you can see over here to the right, uh, if you click one of these arrows, it's going to take you to each tab that's on your main menu of this build. So for instance, I want to uh, say I want to change Specto to a different add-on. I want to replace it. What you'll do is just uh, choose the section that you want to replace it in. Then go down to the add-on that you want to replace. Once you click on it, you just want to go to Video Add-ons. Look for that add-on that you want to replace it with. Uh, for me, I'll replace it with Real Movies, which that's a good uh, add-on. It's basically one click and play movies, which I'll be doing a video for that. But you'll just click on it. It's going to bring this up. Just click OK. As you can see, it uh, replaced it with Specto. 
And you can do that with all the add-ons. If you want to replace all these with something else, you can. It's just the same process. Uh, once you do that, you want to click over to the left and then go down to Scan Reset and click over to the right and highlight Reload, Save Settings and Reload Post. Click it. Once you do that, it's going to bring you back here. Just hit your back button until it takes you back to the main menu of Cody. And as you can see, it uh, replaced Specto with Real Movies. Uh, again, some of these, um, I'm pretty sure Asylum, now your Exodus is up to date because we just did that. Uh, as far as like UK Turks, I don't think it's working on this uh, updated uh, version of this build, but I'm going to make another video to show you uh, how to add the new repo that it's under for those that like to use UK Turks. Uh, I know Stream Army's working on this build as of right now, as, uh, as well as iStream, which is another good add-on. And uh, majority of everything else is working. Uh, I'm not sure about Bob. Uh, if I find out that it's not working, I will show you how to update it because I know that it's in a, I'm pretty sure it's in a new repo. So I'll show you how to update that. But uh, besides everything else, your Exodus, Asylum, and all that's up to date. Uh, also, a good tip, uh, everything that you're doing through Cody, you're streaming, so it's always building up your cache, your packages. So you do have uh, the Pulse Cleaner uh, program on this build to where you can uh, clean the cache and the packages out. You don't have to do it every day. I would recommend doing it like once every three days. Really just depends on how much you use your Cody. Uh, but what you want to do is just highlight system. Go down to Pulse Cleaner and click it. You see right here it has the cache and the packages. Just click on clear cache, delete. It's going to tell you how many files it removed. Then just go over to packages. It'll tell you how many uh, files, files that it found. Just click yes, remove. It'll say clear packages, success, and that's it. Again, you only have to do it like once every three days, once a week. Really just depends on how much you use it. Uh, whenever you're done using this build, uh, what you want to do is just go down to the power button right here. Highlight it, click it. You'll see this pop up. Just click exit, and it'll fully take you out of the Cody. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, just hit that like button if you don't care. Uh, but I'm going to be showing, uh, coming out with more videos showing you how to um, add stuff to this build and so on. But um, for the most part, it's a pretty good build. And again, it runs great on Fire Sticks and Android devices as well as your Windows platform. Thanks. Bye.